Clint Delhi, the scene of senseless vandalism. And police are still looking for the teens responsible. CBS 2's Diane Macedo joins us live from Crown Heights. Diane. Good morning, Chris and Mary. The owner of the gourmet butcher behind me says it all happened in a matter of seconds. He was just running his business as usual. The next thing he knew, his store was in complete disarray and his brother was injured. Store owner Yankee Klein was just standing behind the counter at his Brooklyn deli when two teens ran inside, knocking over just about anything they could find with at least 20 more teens behind them. They scream, they make noise, they yell, whatever. The vandalism at the gourmet butcher happened around 9 o'clock Saturday night. Klein opened the store just a few hours earlier after closing for two days for the Jewish holiday Sukkot. One of his customers even grabbed a broom preparing to fight off the teens before the mob ran away. It was very scary. But what the video doesn't show is Klein's 23-year-old brother standing in the doorway on the right side of the screen just out of view of the surveillance camera. Police say one teen assaulted him as the group stormed in. But so far, no luck finding any suspects. We need probably more community centers and things like that to give the kids something to do because it's like they're idled, and when they're idled like that and they get together in groups, they cause problems. The young kids don't care about nothing. They do whatever they want. There's no, nobody go to stop him. Klein also believes these teens targeted him, possibly because of his religion. It's happened to, to me, and they didn't continue to Utica Avenue. They didn't continue down the road in Troy Avenue to any other store. And police confirmed there were no other complaints about vandalism or assault in the area that night. They do say, though, this is not classified as a hate crime. Still, Borough President Eric Adams says there's been a rash of attacks against members of the Jewish community or their businesses in the area lately, and he plans to address that along with other community leaders today at noon. Live in Crown Heights, Diane Macedo, CBS 2 News.